last Wednesday in the ACC SEC Challenge. Officials tonight, Roger Ayers, Burt Smith, and Courtney Green. Yeah, I, one of the things that Rutgers really does is they scout you very well and try to take away a lot of the things you like to do in your set. Griffiths three, no good. Rebounded by Carr. Miller can push. Salas lines up a three and knocks it down. That's what Wake likes to do. They like to get out. They like to run. They like their transition. They need their transition to really work well for them tonight. They don't want to get into a half-court fight with this Rutgers team. For the spacing so that they can get dribble penetration. Hildreth catch and release. Too strong. And the rebound to Rutgers. Scarlet Knights struggled on the defensive glass last time out. Griffiths, the baseline drive. He turns it over. Here comes Wake the other way. Hildreth so good off the bounce. Of six from the field. Three of four from beyond the arc. Efton Reed has checked in. And Cam Hildreth never checked out. Steve Forbes told me last week, Coach, he raises the ceiling for the entire season and for this entire team as Poopy Miller knocks it down. The year before, and Rutgers really did a great job defensively against this Wake Forest team. You remember that. And I'm sure coming into this game, Wake Forest has worked on some specific things to take advantage of their scoring. It's very difficult to be consistent offensively if the ball does not get into the paint area. If to Reed and his first basket. Hildreth does so well is that he gets other people involved. Parker Fredrickson, one in gold as a freshman of the game. Hildreth found the... Well, Simpson really came on to the end of last year for Rutgers. He was a freshman a season ago. Pop was the lefty from the corner. That was a good shot by Conquist, but again, the ball never touched the paint. That's an awful tough way to live, trying to be able to score without the ball getting in the paint, either on a drive or a pass. First field goal in about five and a half minutes for Rutgers. And uh, they just have not been as effective defensively today as they normally are. Keller knocks down the open three, and that's, to your point, well-traveled Austin Williams. He's on his fourth team. And he gets the two. Started Marist. Hyatt posting up. Reed came to help. Hernandez so quick off the bounce. He's got four. See, that's what I like. And that's the way Rutgers play. Well, we have. But also this way for our team. And the team of building culture. And... Terrific inbound display call by Steve Forbes to beat the shot clock. Hyatt hits another three. There's Fernandez, who's made some nice plays at the control for Rutgers. Hyatt's got nine to lead the Scarlet Knights. Driving baseline. There's the drive and dish that closed quickly on Hildreth. Miller has an open three. Offensive rebound to Reed, fresh 20. Excellent ball movement. Sands from the outside. That's good call for a travel. Wake does a great job of moving the basketball. Uh, they've got really good passers, and they step up, and they knock down. The it's forcing Wake to operate. You see where they are? They're out around half court. They're extending them offensively. Long down low, Lee finishes. Great spacing right there. Reed uses it. Uh, uh, huge because it, because of his physicality and because of his versatility. Uh, you know, he can play inside, he can play outside, he moves his feet real well. There you see a, a, a dribble drive, kicks it out, and that's where you can make some hay shooting the three as we go down. And that represents for Wake a growth opportunity. We know they can win with offense. And there's Reed showing off the defense, the block at the rim. Salas off the bounce, drops it off for Reed. One more, comes back to Miller, the three. Defense to offense, you can set it to Mozart. Boopy Miller.
I think this is where Rutgers has to step up and really make this stand. Down low to Reed. The double doesn't come. Now he's uh, he's underneath because Reed is collapsing the defense and he's weak side crashing and he's getting tip ins. The whole dimension of how Reed's defense on Moore has been stellar as well. Moore has just four points tonight. He's got to give it up. High contested three. Front rim. Battle for the board. Williams block. BP Miller accelerates the other way. Miller to the basket. Count plus the foul. This Rutgers team does not give up easy baskets like that. Look at the aggressiveness going after the rebound block. And now on the push out, Miller's taking the ball and he's attacking the rim and he's able to finish. Chole launches, call the rebound, and that'll do it.